Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps. All right, so I have a lot of Anna Griffin dies, like many of you. And in this video, I will share a lot of my um, Anna Griffin dies. However, I'm gonna do it using a technique that I recently shared in a video. And let me tell you, you are going to love these beautiful die cuts. But first, let me share with you how I store my Anna Griffin dies. Some of you have seen this before. It's my do-it-yourself wafer thin magnetic album binder storage system yeah that was a lot of words right <laughs> but i share a tutorial on how you can make your own and let me tell you super easy super quick but more importantly super cheap do check out my link in my description box Alrighty, i have a lot of die cuts to share let me get started now i purchased my dies from hsn i got them locally i don't know the name of these dies because i bought them in bundles and different configurations on hsn now this technique might look familiar to some of you if you saw my do it yourself glitter foam with no glitter uh-huh thank you tony from fort worth she left a comment stating how beautiful anna's dyes looked in that video and i got to thinking and this one is gorgeous look at that can you see oh my goodness the shimmer in that you guys i made this with absolutely a no glitter <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, when I read her comment, I had the idea to do a showcase of Anna's dyes using my very own technique. So thank you, Tony. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. Of course, I'll have my link to my tutorial in the description box. Now, you guys, I don't know what the names of these dyes are. I purchased these dies in bundles and configurations. I got some locally. Take a look at this one. We love Anna's dies because you get a great size. Look at that piece. And for her larger dies, oh, I love this one. Take a look at this. <laughs> I was stating for her larger dies, you can actually cut apart the pieces, right? Now, I hope you can see this because it's a matte glimmer. And I hope the camera picks it up. Gorgeous. You guys, you have to check out my tutorial. I give you all the instructions you need, but it's super duper easy. Oh, this is gorgeous. By the way, the foils I've used are foils that you could pick up from Create and Craft and also foils for the Mink Machine. This is more of a matte finish, but it has a nice, it has a matte sheen to it. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm getting ready, as you can see. For the holidays take a look at that snowflake now this is a different color from that one and this one also has a matte sheen to it that's a beautiful snowflake now take a look at this one you know I still need to pick out some of these little holes this is gorgeous this is creating crafts foil I know you can and see I the sheen on this one Oh my goodness, totally a beautiful. Now look at this. Big. This is huge. <laughs> All these ornaments. You can definitely cut this one apart. This one has sort of a distressed look to it. In my tutorial, I talk about this. Now take a look at this one. I love it because you can create these in any number of colors. There's so many different colors of foil 
and foam that's available and look at this one I love it and this one you could really cut this one apart right I love that now I don't see a lot of crafters using foam in their projects we tend to think of foam as a kid's craft but mm -mm, not these let me tell you oh this is beautiful I will create some cards using these foam die cuts now this one I messed up on this one this was actually one die but I cut it apart and even cutting it apart look how big it is it's still huge right I love that foil this foil has a pattern on it now take a look at this tree <laughs> this is gorgeous um, the die and the embossing folder came with this tree and I love it oh and can you see the shimmer beautiful 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 and take a look at this one. Oh, I love this one love these shapes and then I did a lot of word dies or die cuts look at that no L and um, let's see this one father oh I love that and then friend that's silver and yellow that's gorgeous and then joy now with this one I employ two different techniques so part of the die cut you see shimmer and the other part is matte mm -hmm. watch the video and then I did Easter but I did it in red because I used the scraps of my foam to create a lot of my word die cuts okay take a look at this happy gorgeous right gorgeous I love it now I love bow dies and I did not construct this one yet I did put together this one don't really care for the colors but when you use foam to create die cuts you get that dimension you get substance something like this would be perfect on a gift bag or gift box now I did use pop dots for this one but before I put this one together I want to make sure the pop dots are going to hold down the foam on the foam this is so pretty one of my faves okay another word die cut this says jingle I love that and then birthday you know um especially for these word dies it would be nice to exchange the foam die cuts for the paper die cuts right you get that instant dimension and then I love this one ho 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 can you see the matte sheen some colors you can see it better than others oh look at this one Mother's Day I know it passed but this is gorgeous and can you see the red yeah that red and gold oh a perfect match and then brother daughter and what does this one say okay so I don't know what this one states but how about hello a dad oh I love that silver and then son a nice decorative element mm-hmm and then some snowflakes now the great thing about these larger dies after you take out the main die cut piece you get a lot of different shapes 
negative shapes that you can use in your projects. And as a matter of fact, I think this, these two snowflakes came from a negative shape. Oh, take a look at this one. Ooh, I love that color. Gorgeous. And then I have a corner die cut shape, a little swirly, and another snowflake. And I forget what shape this is. I think an embossing folder came with this one. And then a bow. And when you assemble this bow, it will look something like that. No. Okay, so it looks better than that. But once again, these bowls are perfect for your box and your bag gifts. Okay, here's an example of some of the negative confetti that's created naturally when you use these dies. Take a look at the smallest, cutest little snowflake. So you could use these in your shakers or you can use them as little elements, little gems on your creations. I'm looking for another shape. Well, you know, I'll just show you. Okay, I have some big pieces in here but I really wanted to focus on the smaller pieces because these smaller pieces are good for shakers. But even with some of these little larger negative pieces, you could definitely use those in your projects. All right, here you have it, you guys. My showcase of some of my Anna Griffin dies using my very own technique and these are gorgeous I like to just sit and look at these <laughs> they feel good they have dimension they're beautiful and my glitter my method there's no glitter on your hands wow gorgeous well I thank you all for watching if you like this video do give me a thumbs up you have my permission to share this video. You can also adopt any of my ideas. I only ask for proper credits. Do give shout outs and do link back to this video. Leave me comments. Let me know what you think. Once again, thank you all for watching. And as always, blessings.